Well, I planned on celebrating my 20 year anniversary with the Single Action Shooting Society by going to this year's Winter Range. That's the national championship of cowboy action shooting in Arizona. But this happened. Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gun fighters, and gamblers. Welcome to a very special episode of Jedi TV. Now I say special episode a lot, right? Okay, but this really is a very special episode of Jedi TV. This episode actually started 14 months ago, almost to the day. It was uh, December 28th of 2019 that we first went to look at what, uh, what has become our dream home, what we call our house. So, it went off the market, it went back on the market, it went off the market. We never got a chance to get back in and look at it. So we've been in touch with the owner and what he said is, I'm gonna put it back on the market, but I'm gonna give you guys the first, first looks, first, first opportunity to have a look at it. So that is where we're heading now on this episode of Jedi TV. I thought we'd give you guys a tour of our dream home what, if we remember correctly, from 14 months ago, is uh, the perfect house set up for us. And really, we've searched in that 14 months for another house, and we haven't found anything that's fit, that's, uh, that, what they say, check all the boxes. We haven't found anything that checks all of the boxes for us other than this house. So we're hoping that it is, well, that it is what we remember, what we remember it being and that it's stayed in that condition and is just as good as we remember it. So, let's take a look. Well, we made it. Right now we're just actually trying to get in <laughs> to actually see the place, but we did make it. So we'll give you guys the big tour now. Before we go into the house, I wanna take a moment to introduce you to our agent, Teresa. Between her and Michelle, we've looked at several, several dozen homes over the past 14 months, all of which Jessica and I have said no to for one reason or another. Both Teresa and Michelle have been very patient and focused on taking care of us. Of course, I'll have a link to their website down in the description box of this video in case you need a house in the Seattle area. Now, it's on to the quick tour of our house. It works. <laughs> Hi. Just letting you guys know I was here. Once we got inside this almost 4,000 square foot craftsman, we found things pretty much like we remembered. Now, this kitchen is awesome. With this entire wall of glass to just light it up. Yeah. I thought there was only one. No, there's two. Sweet, we can, we can have a cook-off. <laughs> the house was built in 1933 and remodeled in 1995. So we're reminded that this house is in need of some TLC in a few places. I love the fix that they did here. That's lovely. Did you see? <laughs> the first time we were here, you turned that on and it was spewed sideways. Oh, like, <laughs> I got it. It's all fixed. It's all better. The house has a living room that is much larger than our current home. And the living room is open to a very large dining room, which I'd certainly like to see something other than carpet on the floor in here. And the dining room leads right out into the solarium, which Jessica has some pretty grand plans for this area. Salon. From the solarium, there's access to the wine cellar or storage basement, as the case may be. And one of the three access points for the patio is also off the solarium. And finally, there's a three-quarter bath in this area. Heading now to the east wing of the manor, we go back through the dining room and kitchen. And again, we see the need for some more minor TLC. Yeah. 
But look at all of those cabinets and that natural light coming in. It's just, it's striking, especially in addition to the high ceilings. Now the east wing of the house is where we plan to build our workout room. That's something that's very important to the entire family. Workout room. Which is the workout room? This right this here. This one is? Mm-hmm. That's the public house. Also, on the ground floor of the east wing, there are two bedrooms, a full bath, a half bath in the laundry room, and two access points to the garage. The upstairs section of the East Wing is entirely taken up by the master suite, including a five-piece master bathroom with jacuzzi tub. Hi. <laughs> Are you comfy? I'm totally comfy. Yeah? So what do you think? I can fit in it. You could drown in that, not just fit in it. <laughs> you could freaking drown in there. It looks like there'd still be room for me. Maybe. Let's try it. Uh-oh. See, then you put your coffee right there. I know, I'm just gonna say, I forgot my coffee downstairs. Now, one of the things that was hard to find, and you all remember me talking about this requirement, was a big shop. I wanted something that could house all of my cars and my toy collection under one roof. Well, this place has that. Of course, one of the first things I'll need to do is knock down one wall and then the real work will begin. But I see great potential in this place and in this space. And I hope that provided all goes well in the inspection and negotiation process, that you all will stick around and see how this grows and develops into our true homestead. Now, one thing I didn't show you on this episode was the hidden bonus room in the house. If all goes well on the inspection and purchase, I'll give you a look at that and tell you what our plans are for that room on a future episode. That means you'll want to be subscribed both here on Jedi TV and on our Incredible channel, which will be linked at the end of this episode and in the description box of this video. If you like this tour of the house, then give this video a big thumbs up by clicking on that like button. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time. The house was built in 1933 and modeled in 1995. Remodel. I'm gonna wait for that plane. Can someone translate that for me? Hang on. I found a fortune cookie. It says, 
You will be surprised by a close friend. Hi friend. <laughs>